Happy New Year. Monday the 15th of January and yes it has been oh a month or more since I was online. Um, a little bit later than um, I had anticipated. Uh, first week of the New Year managed to get Covid last week. I was just feeling so so wiped. Um, store was open, things were ticking along but um, yeah I didn't do any uh, vlogs uh, simply because I sounded shocking. Uh, but uh, we are back after the month break. Uh, the store was closed for uh, a couple of weeks, maybe like nine, nine or ten days. Um, but it's been pretty steady, uh, nothing spectacular since. Um, I think last time, uh, at the end of the year, we were sitting around 252,000 parts or something like that. We are all the way down to um, 235,500 at the moment. That will change today with a rather large upload, which I will get to later on. Uh, I've been 14 orders over the weekend, um, including this one, which I've got a query on in terms of, I think I might have the wrong helmets on the Stormtroopers. Um, so I've just gone back to the buyer and waiting to hear back on that one. Um, got one troublesome order that went to Hungary that I'm trying to deal with. Um, I made a mistake in terms of um, you needed to provide a number on the order and I didn't do that even though I put the VAT kind of receipt on the outer of the box. The buyer came back, um, clearly unhappy about that, said I would refund that, was sick, didn't do it quickly and now he said that most of the parts are used and dusty and he wants a whole new order of parts sent. Um, that was a couple of days ago, emailed him back saying, look, um, happy for you to return everything and I'll pay for the return shipping as well as the VAT that it's cost you or you can send me pictures of all those parts that you claim are second hand and um, we will deal with that on a part by part basis or I can just pay the VAT and we can crack on and I've not heard from him um, followed up yesterday as well clearly keen to um, get that matter resolved um, given that the um, comments keep coming thick and fast being very positive so um, I'm not sure how much damage one negative would actually do to your reputation um, I'm not sure if a lot of people look at this I mean the one neutral that I've got is is the fact that Australia Post took a while to post something so um, I could potentially request that one to be removed but hey neutral is a neutral comment kind of I can't get too hung up on it um, sitting at 888 orders on the store which is pretty decent um, as I said this last week so week two of the month has been pretty slow um, only 35 orders um, it was a good thing in some regards because I was knackered um, and that that pretty much meant that the month was down we're just about to roll into week three of the year and January itself um, has been pretty decent I mean we're halfway through that's pretty much on a par with where we are all of the stats are down at the moment and Brickall has kind of returned to being quite quiet after quite a busy period uh, which is interesting and then finally for the little catch up over on YouTube we have climbed up to 617 subscribers we have gone past the 4,000 viewing hours so now it's all about getting that to 1,000 and monetization and the big turbo tank giveaway um, when we get there obviously this is the first video in quite a while four weeks since the last video few how-to videos have gone up and I've still got some more of those um, to record people are pretty keen on those especially one around packaging which is probably pretty timely um, so let's have a little look at this morning's orders as I said uh, this one I think I've balls that up when I've listed them with Brickify um, but we'll figure that out through the day uh, a bit of a mixed bag two internationals mainly domestic letters and some parcels actually it's probably an even split um, at the back here pretty bog standard some bricks and a little uh, book piece and a speckled axe head and a bone so probably something Viking related the first of two go into the States. These, um, what are they? Joiner with a round slot in dark red. Pretty rare, so um, I can understand why they're shipping them all the way out to the US. 
a um, bit of dark orange and orange action going on here interesting colorways could be a cool little um, build that one a whole bunch of black going out here and then uh, the last of my center hats um, I'm not sure what they came out of maybe they came out of um, an advent calendar or something not sure and a Darth Vader um, a Venator original sticker sheet off to the States minifigure uh, Imperial something or other what is he Imperial gunner and a couple of parts nice little order uh, the first the Ninjago figures I've ever sold um, so that's pretty good that's Kai and a random assortment of bits and pieces including some minifigure parts bit of a dark blue light blue gray um, it's definitely got a bit of a um, space feel to it that one I'm going to say with the helmets and then a whole bunch of white parts and the splattering of yellow going out there good little order that one some black and some dark green dark green being quite popular today um, but again kind of a straightforward order a couple of hoses one of those massive um, 35 34 30 34.3 centimeter um, hoses um, find an envelope for that day eh? was a bit of a tricky one but um, it's good to see they'll go because they've been sitting around for a while and then the biggest order of the day um, has a little bag of used and then I'm going to say it's for a modular building possibly the brick bank I don't know it's kind of got that kind of feel to it it's definitely a modular building um, and I was missing a couple of bits there um, some medium nugget slopes one by two 45 degree ones so um, an interesting little um, thing to do so that's the orders I'm going to get those all packed up and then I'll come back and I'll talk about this pile of stuff and what's been going on in the uh, four weeks three weeks whilst I've been offline in terms of new inventory and stuff like that so um, back soon it's um, Monday afternoon and um, as I said kind of whilst this whilst I wasn't doing vlogs and I was feeling a bit crappy generally um, and my wife was helping me in the store which was um, amazing and I shocked to the people in the post office when it wasn't me delivering stuff but um, parts have been coming in and um, they just piled up to be honest for a whole month and um, the kind of Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday I have been sorting parts, um, quite a lot of parts, uh, 72,107 parts with a total of 701 lots um, and that's not all of them um, as kind of we'll see over the next day or two um, what it has meant is um, that's going to take us over the 300,000 parts in the store so it's going to be a massive jump but it also means I've got a massive storage issue uh, IKEA had a sale on the tubs that we've been using um, so there's a whole batch of them meant to arrive tomorrow uh, which will alleviate some of the problems but we have got this entire box here which is monstrous worth of parts that don't fit somewhere this stuff that doesn't fit into the drawer spaces that we've got another big order coming from an overseas store um, tomorrow as well I think tomorrow could be a big day in terms of deliveries again and we've got sets to be parted out uh, which include that couple that are sitting under there um, which are all one by one plates but definitely the cheapest way to get one by one plates without a shadow of a doubt so um, it's a huge huge undertaking and for the first time ever really I've had time to kind of go through pricing and you know pricing has just been set to the the current inventory average whenever those parts have been uploaded and that price is pretty much stuck with us for the first six months what it was showing me as I was going through checking off parts as I do from this list is that pricing has changed quite a fair bit um, so what I've done with this batch of um, parts is gone through and looked at the prices versus um, current inventory versus quantity average because a lot of these are in the hundreds 200s or more quantities going in the store so it's given me a chance to kind of um, 
reflect, if you like, on pricing and make sure we're back in the averages, which, you know, maybe that'll see a reduction in the amount of sales because it won't be quite as cheap. But equally, it means that we're kind of sitting in that middle of the road part um, as we have always wanted to be. So um, this one's all been gone through and all of that. So it's ready for an upload. Um, I'm hoping I can squeeze it in before the maintenance hits on um, Bricklink because that's about to happen in one minute. Uh, it's a big old file, as you can imagine. Um, some reallocation took place just to get this up and running. Um, but man, it's been quite a mammoth task sorting out all of these parts. You know, 72,000 is more than a fifth of the store. Um, I can't do the sums, but you know, if we've only got 230,000, we're adding 72,500 parts. It's a big jump, uh, which is good. Good little uh, boost for January for sure. Uh, and there's a lot of parts in here. Uh, a lot of stuff that you've seen me talk about, a lot of stuff that sells very well. Managed to get hold of some quantities of stuff which is not readily available in Australia for sure, which is great. And continuing kind of snapping up some of these older parts that are going to be ceasing to exist uh, very soon. So we've got a little quantity of each of those. It's going to be a big jump up. Obviously the notification, we're going to send that out. And I think that will take us over the 300,000 parts in the store. There you go. 306,234 in 9,038 lots. Although I think we were at 9,000 and something lots before Christmas, but massive bump. Um, happy with that. Certainly um, keep things interesting in the, in the coming weeks for the rest of the month. Could see January have a good little uptick as well. Uh, so I just need to go into Brick Freedom and sync that inventory, uh, which would be good, which is done. Sync inventory, there we go. Added to the queue, there's another order coming for 14 lots, um, 759 items. It's a store, I've already had a look at it, it's a store buying a whole load of slopes, um, clearing me out of a fair few things, which is always good, but you know how I feel about it. Um, so. That's that done. Um, I'm going to actually kind of go and sort out some stuff that came in this morning and then I might show you a couple more bits for today. If not, it will be tomorrow. Good morning. Tuesday. Um, a quiet, a quiet day. As often as the case when you upload a whole heap of stuff, it seems. I don't know. It's a weird one. I think you expect there to be a heap of orders when you put a load of stuff on the store and it doesn't eventuate quite often. Um, so just three orders. Uh, the first one, just one of those um, space toolboxes, pretty straightforward. The second smaller medium size order, a whole bunch of dark blue gray and a random assortment of bits and pieces um, going out. And then the one I mentioned yesterday, which is um, pretty much clearing me out of slopes of every variety. Um, going to another store. There's also a um, Harry Potter, I think it's called Forks, is he? The Phoenix from that going out there. A little bit of reddish brown tiles. And a first peek at the official yellow brick rolled um, free tiles. Um, I've given a couple of these away over the um, Christmas period um, to larger orders. So I've kind of set it at about a hundred dollars worth of um parts kind of at the moment because i don't want to burn through the tiles too quickly um it's a good old collection of tiles all printed up thank you to the big brick for um printing those and getting them back to me um and as you can see they're pretty tasty um good detail you know considering the logo's got quite a lot of detail in it and stuff like that um so yeah Sent a couple of those out already, um, which is nice. So yeah, just the three orders. That one obviously needs way in. The other two are just domestic letter. And then it's back to sorting out parts. So um, I've got an order in here that I've already kind of broken down that I need to start putting away. Um, obviously, it gives me a bit of a problem in terms of space for some of these things as well. Um, and you will have noticed 
the um, the first sighting in Australia of the Lego pick a brick boxes um, and I'll be honest I quite enjoyed filling them up they felt a bit more psychologically probably only but it felt a little bit more economic spacing when you were filling it up and the pick a brick wall had an awful lot of um, 4x4 plates they had green and they had tan um, which is what I kind of split my two boxes in half with it's not the easiest thing to get open with one end and you can pack them full so I've got some tan ones there's all sorts of bits and pieces in there I'll sort them out later today so those um, parts to go into the store these ones to get sorted out and then I've got that DHL delivery to um, break down but what I need is this Ikea delivery of um, more of these big tubs so that I can start breaking down because we have run into um, some volume issues left right and centre as you can see it's getting a bit chaotic and um, you know that kind of um, gets to me a little bit so get these parts listed in the store put away um, I'll maybe sort these ones out next sort out the postage and then um, see what we get up to next in the day it is um, Tuesday Tuesday almost afternoon um, but I stumbled across um, a video that was talking about um, catalogue changes on Bricklink and I know um, Brick Owl were doing some catalogue kind of consolidation but uh, Brick Owl are doing some, uh, Brick Link even, are doing some fairly significant ones where they're going to be um, combining parts. Um, I suppose the easiest ones to kind of explain are um, these inverted slopes where some had um, connectors, some didn't, some had a circular pin on the bottom and some had a flat pin on the bottom and they're just going to combine them all together. And similarly on um, seats, some had a sprue, never heard that word anywhere else before, mark. Um, for example, the dark green ones have that little circle thing where they come off of the machine, I presume. And um, other colours like, um, I think, reddish brown and stuff, don't. So um, you always have to check when you were picking the parts that you had the right one. Um, but they're going to get rid of them all and just combine them all. So there's a whole bunch of parts. Um, frosted bricks, these older kind of X-shaped axle bricks, these blocked and vented studs, um, and I've definitely got batches of those, and um, the ones with and without the groove. Um, the ones with the groove are going to be removed. Um, so yeah, I mean, and that's quite a lot of parts. So. I presume this all happens automatically. Um, I've not read all of the um, the forum post yet. I just kind of jumped to the help page to have a look at that. Um, and there is an awful lot of comments about people getting a bit pissed about it, to be honest. But um, yeah, I think it's quite good, personally. Kind of simplification. I don't actually keep all of those parts separate anyway. I don't think it makes a massive, massive difference, but those changes are going to come into effect as of February the 1st, so it's only a couple of weeks away. Um, so I'm just going to dive into this article and see if there's anything that I need to do in preparation. Other than that, starting to get some of that organised. These are the ones I had already, still haven't got my um, delivery. It's coming by Team Global Express, formerly known as Toll, so who knows when that might arrive. I've also got a toll package that I need to go and pick up from some random shop in a supermarket. Um, yeah, they may have rebranded, but um, they're still random, which is a shame because the guy that actually comes from toll is lovely. We have a good chat when he comes. Um, he's always a bit kind of like more, more deliveries, um, but he's a lovely guy. Um, one order has come in, a bit of an old school retro space. Oh, oh I've dropped old school retro space parts um, going out there so that one's going to go um, along with the other ones and I'm just going to have a walk to the post office now and you bet your life the minute I step outside and go for a walk in the 30 odd degree heat 
the postman will arrive and the Team Global Express will come and um, another parcel will be lost in the ether. But um, I want to get these off to the post office. I've got a return of some slopes that are cocked up, which I'll explain later, to collect as well. So um, I'll go do that. Good morning. It is Wednesday and um, having said it was quiet, uh, Tuesday kind of continued to be busy. Obviously I did a couple of orders through the day which I showed you and then there were seven further orders, all of them fairly modest um, but all very welcome. So um, first one uh, a bunch of wedge plates and then the next six are all domestic letters so fairly small orders. Um, a used windshield, a minifigure, some plants and some parts and then just general parts, the rest of them. Uh, there's one more with minifigures. Um, some kind of, I'm not sure what you class them as. What are those? Brackets and some plates. A bunch of dark blue grey, another windshield, a Jin Urso and a, is he a B-Wing pilot? Can't quite remember who he is. And some Star Warsy stuff. I think maybe it's a, maybe is it an A-Wing? B-Wing, A-Wing, B-Wing, A-Wing. What's the one with the yellow in it? can't remember. Anyway, could be that one. And um, just some general parts going out there as well. So, seven orders, not too bad. Um, the reallocation has been continuing. I'm working through this box here, um, which is a mammoth. It's like 18,000, well it was two boxes. It's 18,000 parts. That box is not getting any better. <laughs> um, definitely need to work work with that. Um, that little pile has gone down a little bit um, but this is now turning into a bit of a monumental. The IKEA delivery arrived so um, I've got more tubs appearing. I've got a whole bag of bags. That's probably about a kilo worth of bags and more five litre tubs down here. A lot of plates and things like that and kind of things like these um, four by four mills plates are now kind of spread across three tubs. We've got one which is just light blue grey, we've got one which is various colours and there's one down here somewhere down the bottom there which is dark blue grey plates. Um, so yeah there's a heap of reallocation still required to be done. Um, I've been doing my usual going through and sorting out um, what I'm doing uh, let me find the um, import recent, where was that pick a brick? Those two pick a brick boxes that I had uh, e on my desk from the other day. I put those in the store last night. Let me just kind of wait for that to open. Worked out a pretty decent price to be fair. Um, there was only 14 lots in there. So uh, some bars, some antennae, plates, curves, some wedge plates. Those yellow wedge plates were a good little find. I've already got a load of those um, modified plates in tan, uh, some light blue grey kind of um, horizontal clip ends. Um, I sold a whole bunch of those. Uh, so yeah, nothing nothing stellar and one random brick that always kind of sneaks its way in. And it turned into 1,247 parts for a value of 300, well, pretty much $321, which um, I think, I think, Oh, is it? I can't remember how much they are. Are they? Are they forty dollars? Like Don't know. Anyway, from a part out value, it's pretty damn decent. I've got to be honest. And then, um, yeah, this is the one I'm working on at the moment. It is um, seventeen and a half thousand parts. I'm just working through, kind of putting away what I can put away, and then um, I'm going to get this uploaded. And then that's pretty much everything that I need to put away, put away. There's a few more parts orders still to arrive, but that will be me for the month other than some part outs. So I collected my um, parcel from the news agents yesterday and the guy in front of me won the lottery. So uh, well done to him, little old fella. He was delighted kind of, and he won big because he had to ring the lottery company. He wasn't one he could get his cash out. So hopefully he's, um, kind of set for the rest of his life. I was, I was delighted. It was a really nice little moment. Anyway, I digress. 
Um, yeah, so I picked up um, a parcel from uh, the post office, which was the new Star Wars Battle Packs, which I'll show you a little bit later on. Um, although I'm still waiting for my new tiny plant pots, which I ordered before them. I've got the gift with purchases, as you always do, but I still don't have the um, tiny plant pots arrived, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, anyway, again, waffling on. Got to get these orders packed up and then continue putting this away and I'll come back when I'm ready to upload. Just um, well, earlier today, I put up the um, the latest how-to video, the 15th of them, and um, I've got a comment from um, Pop's Block Shop. And if you haven't followed um, Pop's Block Shop, you really should. Um, he is um, an outstanding bricklinker. Um, used and new parts, got an amazing kind of setup. American re reseller, uh, ugh, classic basement setup. Um, for me, he's actually like the better version of the Brick Czar, kind of similar, kind of chilled, kind of quite philosophical outlook. Um, has his kid helping him out. Um, yeah, it's, it's a good watch, good in depth. Um, interesting kind of consolidation in his drawers and stuff like that so if you're not following it give it a follow anyway um i digress anyway kind of his suggestion was the top reasons to stop list a buyer um and <laughs> it's a good point i don't really know kind of what would be a top 10 so if anyone's got any comments uh leave them on that video and um, we could do a top 10 compile list anyway um, I've kind of finished putting away all the parts that I can put away for now. Um, there's still a little gathering of parts that need sorting and there is still an absolute mountain. I mean, that is that is like maybe, I don't know, five, five, six, seven, eight kilos worth of bricks that need finding a home. The, um, the five litre containers have grown up to I think we're up to 40 something now 42 43 up to 43 of them and we are up to 70 on the two litre containers so we are very very much reaching maximum capacity and I know I say that all the time but we really are we're going to end up with kind of mountains of them piled up against the window and um there'll be no daylight coming in and it will be a very sad existence. So uh, this file um, is ready to get uploaded. So um, that's my next job. I am going to do a export mass upload on this one just before the maintenance happens, which uh, is it today? Yeah, it is today. That's going to be down for an hour. So get this in before that, plenty of time, 10 minutes, eight minutes before the one hour maintenance goes on, um, which is gonna kind of kibosh me from doing a bit of reallocation, to be honest. But there we go. This is an awful lot, isn't it? What are we talking? 17,646 items, 279 lots getting added to the store send out that notification happy days kind of sync that inventory onto brick owl as well so that we are getting it sorted uh, yeah that is going to be something else let's have a look where that takes us on the store to the parts it must take us over one 320 must not it 325,715 Wow, but the lots didn't go up that much, did it? Only to 9,066. It's difficult to get those lots up. It really is. But there we go. We are up to um, 325,000. and We are still 100,000 odd off moving up a place in the WA store rankings. That's how big that gap is. But uh, we definitely solidified our place in sixth or seventh, whichever one it was. I'm not sure. I haven't actually done December's accounts or anything yet, um, which might be what I do in the next hour, to be honest. Um, 
I was even thinking of doing the, the finance videos as a members only type thing rather than giving too much away all of the time. Um, if people were really, really interested in what the, the economics of the, the, the store were, maybe that'd be a members only type thing. Um, moving forward, kind of keep it to that rather than too much um, show and tell for the, the actual day-to-day -day running of the store. Uh, yeah, so that's where we're at. Um, continue reallocation, I think, and maybe December's accounts, but um, that's where we're at. Thursday morning, two orders in overnight, although one has just arrived, but I think it's an international one because it's got one of those VAT receipt kind of emails that's come with it. So the two that are in, um, three reddish brown plates on that one and this one is a whole bunch of Technic bricks um, one by fours and um, I think it's one by 16 of those uh, and some black one by 12 plates so pretty straightforward both of those just domestic letter and until that uh, second order arrived I was about to start doing the final bit of parting out sort of stuff so as you can see, I need to move this desk that way a little bit to create a bit more room to get those three stacks of the five litre tubs in there and do a little bit of rearranging. Um, I've got that little pile of um, two litre tubs there and then more two litres up there. So. Um, I might have to sacrifice the uh, the stuff on the end there. I don't know. I have to think about that. Um, or put some two litres on top of the uh, shelves. Don't know about the weight on that. But anyway, have a little think about that. But the last bit of my parting out will be um, using some of these two litre tubs for the one by one plates, which come in these, um, what is it? Personalised mosaic portrait sets. And um, so you get like um, four and a half thousand pieces in this. So the part out, the part, the price per part, price per piece ratio for this is phenomenal in terms of one by one bricks. And it's a pretty, pretty sexy little pack. You get a massive um, base plate, um, which I'll have to figure out somewhere to store. And then you get these five parcels and a little brick separator in its little um, container. And then each one of these little boxes, <clears throat> I've already opened this to make life easy, is just a bag of bricks. So I think it's black, white, dark blue grey, light blue grey and yellow. So there's like heaps of them. So those will be five tubs really. Not that not that you really sell a lot of yellow, but or but yeah the other ones pretty much go pretty well. Um certainly the two grey ones. So I picked up two of these with a bit of um VIP points discount. So there's that one and that one. Um to them get them sorted out so. all right Thursday afternoon and I finally finally done December and it's not pretty it's not pretty but um, in the interests of full disclosure and total transparency it is what it is right and um, some things just don't go to plan and you have to take it on the chin and whilst I can explain it is what it is so um, I'm not going to dwell on it too long um, but this is kind of how December broke down. Um, what it meant was we are in, we, we burnt, we burnt money. Um, pretty much I did a whole bunch of freelance, I had a load, load of cash and I invested it in parts for the store, which meant my um, purchasing of Lego ballooned whilst the store was closed, which meant expenditure far outweighed income, which means we have pissed up against the wall a $2,000 profit, 
to a $17.06 negative, which um, wouldn't be a worry um, if it wasn't January and everyone wasn't spending a penny at this week. It's been a really quiet week. So, um, yeah, it's a bit of a um, an arse twitcher at the moment, but um, it will come good, I'm pretty sure. Um, postage costs were down given that... Um, it was a quieter month with the store being closed. Um, fees were up, which was a bit weird. Kind of bricklink fees were way up. Um, $172.96. Um, refunds, cancellations was pretty high. Uh, there was a box that bust on the way to the States, um, which kind of... Yeah, not really my fault, but kind of took it on the chin. A lot of parts were lost. Um, brick owl fees were downed, which isn't too bad. Brick feed and fees were up again. Um, bit of a strange one, how that goes up and then it's down. Kind of last month it was really small. This month it's really big. Um, brick owl sales were down on last month, but up on the previous one. Kind of, yeah... That month when Brick Link was down was really good, but kind of it steadied off again. Um, eBay was pretty good. Yeah, kind of eBay sales weren't too bad. Did something on that. Um, Brick Link sales were, was good. It was up on um, November, which was great. Um, go figure, even though we were shut for nine days. Um, maybe that's because Brick Link was offline but it was offline for less than nine days from memory, or similarly, nine days. Um, Brooklyn purchases were obviously sky high. Lego store purchases I kept way under control, which was good. Postage was down. Office supplies was up. Um, printer cartridges, labels, um, stickers, business cards, needed all of those things. Storage was fairly even uh, this one's been a little bit higher than that again but not not massively and packaging supplies will probably be on a par with that this month if not a little bit higher as well i don't know why i've gone so high it's because i'm looking under the camera to see the screen yeah so that's where we are through december january probably not going to be much better of a story to be honest more of a steadying of the ship um I have purchased some parts, but not anywhere near that kind of volume. Um, and sales have been decent, but not stellar. So it's going to be kind of just a roll it out, see how we go. I mean, it's January, right? It's a long month. Everyone's spent up large over the Christmas period. There's a whole heap of new sets out in January as well. So people will be buying up new sets as well. So it is what it is. January was always going to be a hard month to see it out um, but we have put in 70 odd thousand parts into the store which you know for the longer haul that's gonna that's gonna have dividends so um, I'm confident that things will see themselves right by the time we get around to February March so um, as I said I think kind of what I might do um, moving forward is kind of take these kind of financial reports and these bigger ones that i do and maybe make these a members only type thing so they can kind of kind of delve into it a bit more talk a bit more about the parts that i'm buying the things that are selling well a bit more of the the value add details that um, might be useful for actual store owners as opposed to just your casual lego interested kind of bricklinker type thing people that really want to get into what it is that's selling what am i seeing um where parts are good value where i'm getting them from things like that so i'm going to have a think about that over the next week and make a decision whether or not kind of i make some kind of content that's just for members uh, if you've got some views on that leave a comment below i'd be interested to know whether people are interested in that kind of content or not um but there we are that was december uh We'll say no more about it. Good morning. It is Friday, end of the week. Um, continues to be relatively quiet. Um, 
I don't really see that changing, I guess, kind of do, dwelling on it overnight and stuff like that. End of the month, we're into, what are we, like, this is the 19th, is it, or something like that. Still a week and a bit to go um, of the month. It's a fairly long month, isn't it, January? People kind of making making the, that kind of December salary stretch and whatnot. So um, here's where we're at. A couple of um, kind of large-ish brick orders, kind of a lot of dark blue grey and a bit of tan. And then same colourways repeated here with a whole load of um, two by threes in dark blue grey and tan and some two by ones in dark blue grey there. A little bit of technique, uh, what do you call it? It's the lift, thin lift arms. And then one large order off to the States. Um, I had one problem with this in that I should have had 10 um, 8 by 12 dark blue grey plates in B4, but I can't find, I could only find one. Um, but there should have been 10 of them in total. Um, so I was kind of missing nine not eight sorry nine um searched everywhere searching all the overflows couldn't find them for love no money um it is a mystery um says i uploaded them on august the 31st so it's pretty early on as well that they should have been in the inventory so um gutted really because it was like 12 dollars worth of plates but um massive pile of light blue gray big one of dark blue gray and then some black and some trans. Order is over a um, hundred. Why is that not focusing? Order's over a hundred Aussie dollars in value. So um, the limited edition yellow brick road tile to make your own yellow brick road. You know, someone's going to do it. Going out on that one. So um, four orders to pack up and get out. And... Um, that's pretty much kind of where we're at. Had a little bit of a tidy up yesterday afternoon, so cleared a bit more space on the, the desk because, you know, that space is valuable for kind of sorting out, which means um, the shelves up there have been reorganised a little bit. Um, so we've got the two litre tubs stretching all the way across pretty much. Um, so as you know, the setup, got those stack of drawers there. And then we've got um, the lesser used five litres up there, um, just about tall enough to reach those down and pick them down in twos. I know I'm not tall enough to reach the top ones on the own. I have to take them down in twos, but they tend to be the things that you don't access as frequently as the two litre tubs, what I've found so far. Anyway, so there's those. And then on top of my shelves, I've got um, another couple of five litre tubs over there as well before we got all the way down into that. I do need to find a home for um, what is an absolute mountain of two by four dark blue grey bricks. One of those ordering errors and a whole bag of one by one plates. Got to find a home for them up in a cupboard somewhere. I've got those five litre tubs that have always been down there and then over here, there are those five litre tubs as well. Um, I've managed to get them all in numerical order now, so it kind of makes sense as you're working. But, and I know I've said it a million times, we really, really are reaching capacity. Um, I don't know what we do from here in terms of space. We really probably can't do an awful lot more in terms of... Um, space like well what yeah i can't really think what i could do really from here other than more two liter tubs and potentially having some tubs under the desk we're at we're at capacity like i could get another one of those um draw things but it's only what is it five ten fifteen twenty drawers on top of that one um, but yeah, we're pretty much there now, kind of. So maybe, maybe, I mean, the other last resort would be to go up on those 
drawers. I mean, I think I've got three or four in the lockup storage unit. So I could buy another stack of those and raise up that bench level by two or three. It would mean I'd have to move the computer because I kind of lean on that corner return. Um, I'd probably have to move over a little bit or I'd have to lift the desk up completely. Like if I put another row of drawers in, one, two, three, four, um, went eight or whatever it is, I went up by two, I'd be a lot higher. Um, going up by two would be all right, wouldn't it? But I probably wouldn't need this, the sorting table then either. Anyway, but it would give me a problem accessing that shelf there for units. So you could only probably go up one, but it would give me, what is it, another 15 in each of those. So 15, 15, 30, 45, 60 more drawers, draw cubicles, which would be something probably add another, what, 100,000 parts in that space. So we'd probably get towards four, four fifty, four fifty half half a million parts before we really, 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 really can go nowhere else. Unless, unless I evict the wife's desk, which you know I do actually use this desk for doing part outs. So um, I'm not sure she'd be happy about that. Or there's that wall space which you could put a shelf on. But you wouldn't get more than, no, you would get two. You could get two shelves on there, which would mimic that. Um, but hey, what am I getting carried away? Hey, gotta sell some stuff first. A um, lot of investment put in in December, which needs to kind of get selling through before we can do anything. So um, get these orders packed up, get them to the post office. Um, probably not going to do much else today. Um, next week, um, going to be doing some part outs. I'll maybe show you what we've got planned for next week as a wrap up today. Um, but get this sorted and then, uh, wrap up for the week. Well, Friday, end of the week, and uh, just a little pre uh, precap, <laughs> precap, making up words, a little bit of a preview of next week. So, um, going to kind of turn the attention to uh, getting back to parting out kind of newer sets next week and things that are in the storage unit maybe some of those gift with purchases got quite a few of those going to put some on eBay and maybe part some out and just keep one in the store of things so um, I picked up um, I don't know whether this is a new set or an old set but they were on sale um, so I picked up three of those um, just in terms of introducing new parts, bit of variety into the store, um, I purchased some of these for myself and I thought I would part out a couple of those for the store. Um, obviously these Super Battle Droids would go well. Um, the Clone Troopers probably going to be a popular sell through. Shock Troopers, we've already got those from the um, Ahsoka T6 shuttle. Um, so couple of those in the store see how they go um got some of those to hold on to for my own personal collection anyway and then um again with the whole kind of new parts in mind um i picked up a couple of these auspicious dragon sets um and i think i'm going to part them out um simply again because like these parts will be completely new to the store add kind of lots and they're pretty cool colours. Does look a beautiful set though, kind of. I'm tempted to to not part them out, but kind of, you know, I never have time to build stuff and it's all about parts in the store right now. So um, yeah, got two of those to part out, three of those, two of those. And obviously there are those two modular sets in the, in the storage unit as well. So next week we'll be um, heading over the, to the storage unit and we'll have a little bit of a, a rummage around in there there are some used parts as well over there that um, I want to get stuck into as well just to kind of replenish things over there so this is where we're sitting at going into the weekend as of 
as I've said all week, it has been a slow, slow week with only 16 sales. We're down to 3.2 sales per day. The average sale is down, although it says it's up on this kind of metrics, but as we know, Brooke Friedan's metrics kind of seem to track against the same point in the week versus last week. Um, and kind of items sold is way down, shipping is way down. Um, but there you go. It is what it is, kind of. I'm not going to worry about it. I think it's obvious that kind of January is going to be a slow month and we're just going to have to suck that up. Um, in terms of uh, new versus used, used has been pretty slow this week, but that's probably because that is really kind of diminishing now. Um, it's it's gone well, but we do need to replenish that. Um, and dark blue grey has been the winner, but as you can see, um, once you get past the the usual suspects, it's all pretty thin on the ground in terms of brick parts numbers. So yeah, we'll see what the weekend brings. Uh, I think. What did we do last weekend? 17 sales, which would take us to, you know, like, what's that? 17 on top of that would take us to, like, 35. Last week, we were sitting at 37. So if we had the similar weekend, we'd end up about similar as last week. So we will see. Over on YouTube, closing out the weekend, a rather, rather satisfying 627 subscribers. Um, the latest how-to video about how to add buyers to a stop list has gone really well. Really pleased with that. Uh, I have recorded two more uh, how-tos this week. I've done one for um, how to set up shipping categories, shipping methods on Bricklink and one about packaging and things like that for Bricklink as well. So um, one next week, one the week after already recorded. So that's pretty good, happy with that. And then over on the store, uh, we are gonna close the week out on 324,354 parts at 9,062 lots, which, you know, is sensational, isn't it? And the feedback continues to be pretty, pretty amazing, really. Uh, lots of compliments about the speed and the quality of the packaging which um, is always really pleasing because you know that's what you want you want it to be um, you want it to be a pleasant experience when people are getting it and we're creeping up to I think the color of that brick changes when you get to um, a thousand isn't it so uh, maybe maybe in the next couple of months we'll tip over into whatever the next color brick is not that I don't think that really matters, does it? I don't think people really um, pay much attention to that as they're going through their purchasing uh, process. So there we are. Um, that is the end of the week. Everything is kind of in order and sorted out. Um, I'm going to do the blog, blog, vlog now and get that uploaded for its usual release on Sunday. Um, all those that have been waiting patiently for the last five weeks for me to get me ass back in gear um, thanks for being patient and thanks for watching and i shall see you next week